Detroit's Forgotten Harvest on a national stage. We brought you all of the excitement live earlier today right here on 7. It happened before a national audience on the Kelly Clarkson Show as the musical star recognized Forgotten Harvest for helping battle food insecurity in Metro Detroit. Our own Carolyn Clifford was with Kelly in her studio in California as she also surprised volunteers with a major announcement. Forgotten Harvest hosting a watch party this afternoon. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette was there and shows us how Forgotten Harvest is truly making a difference and now taking their mission even further. Moments ago, the whole country watched the work being done here at Forgotten Harvest on the Kelly Clarkson show, and we got a behind the scenes view of exactly what's been happening and that surprise announcement from Kelly. Forgotten Harvest is such a wonderful, wonderful nonprofit in our community. Taking to the spotlights before a national audience on the Kelly Clarkson show, the hardworking volunteers who brighten countless lives as a part of Forgotten Harvest. Our own 7 Action News anchor Carolyn Clifford joining Kelly on her set. They rescued like 42 million pounds of food last year, meaning, yes, rescue meaning it didn't go to waste. Right. Talking about what it was like growing up in the city of Detroit as part of a big family and the need to support all those who face hunger. I was born and raised in the city of Detroit, the youngest of nine kids. I don't, I don't even know how my mom fed all of us, and she would never turn anyone away if they came to our door. The focus of the show, inviting America to see where Forgotten Harvest inspires people to give their time, energy, and commitment to families in need. <laughs> On Eight Mile Road in Oak Park, we got to see their 78,000 square foot warehouse with 20,000 volunteers since 2021. Here they process 178,000 pounds of food a day. Client Services Manager Krista Poole opening up about how she first came across Forgotten Harvest. 15 years ago, I found myself in need of assistance. I took home three boxes of food. As I was going through it, I was looking at it in amazement. I just started crying. Together with her sons, Damari and Derek, Krista has made it their family's mission to assist others struggling. It could be a medical illness, the loss of a job. How has this place impacted your life? Now you're here as yes. a manager of client services. I've dedicated my life around community um, service and my kids as well. And I know how it feels to need food. So I just want to help people that was in my situation. Today, expressing gratitude to the founder of the organization, Nancy Fishman, who was on set with Kelly and Carolyn. I thought to myself, if I ever got out of that situation, someday I would go back and help the other people. Yeah who I was standing in line with. So I started going around to restaurants and caterings and putting food in my Jeep and driving it to soup kitchens and shelters. Simon, as you know, Channel 7 is so committed to serving this community, and it's a privilege for us to be able to shine a light on this organization. The work that Forgotten Harvest is doing in this community, feeding the hungry, is just incredible. I found Forgotten Harvest because I needed food, but what I found was a family. Next, Krista, her children, and this warehouse full of loyal volunteers, taking a moment to hear Kelly deliver some more music to their ears. We reached out to our friends at ConAgra, a Feeding America leadership partner, so they're donating $10,000 to oh Forgotten Harvest. Yeah. It takes a community to help the community. You just never know when you or one of your loved ones can need the assistance of Forgotten Harvest. Many of the 50 to 200 volunteers working here daily say they've personally received assistance from Forgotten Harvest and they are truly blessed to get this support from Kelly. From Oak Park, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Man, oh man, what a proud day for Channel 7 for Scripps. Didn't we look good? And remember last year we raised $100,000 for Forgotten Harvest and they do so much yeah. good work in our community, feeding so many people. And it's need. so great to partner with them oh, always. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're a well-oiled machine of people who care and love. And it was so great to see you there, yeah, Carolyn. Wasn't it? And, and, and Kelly is so nice. Her whole She looks is like that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, from the heart. She, yeah. And, and guess what? She's going to pick an, a nonprofit and give the award to one nonprofit that sort of shines the light the most. So hopefully Forgotten Harvest will be that. And if you'd like to help the remarkable work of Forgotten Harvest, we have a link on how you can donate or WXYZ.com. Just look for the story right on our homepage and good luck Forgotten Harvest. Let's hope they come in that number one position and get even more money and more recognition. Just wonderful. Yeah, great to have you back in broadcast yeah, house in the cold. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thanks, Carolyn.